Assalamu alaikum welcome to our presentation the main topic of today's presentation is research paper course uh, international business presented to Jessia Mustafa senior lecturer department of business administration presented by Mehzavin Sultana Tafikur Rahman Yasmin Akhtar Jefferson Today in this presentation we will share some of the most useful tips that will help you the read research paper easily and more effectively. Today we talk about the benefit of research paper, how and where is the search of them, component of the research paper and finally some of the tips of reading research paper to get the most out of it. So I request you to watch this presentation still and end. Let's begin with what is the research paper. A research paper is the suitable document of any observation, experiment, hypology, which is the supported by logic and result and are the often reviewed critically before the begin published. Next, let's talk more about the benefits of reading. Benefit of reading. Now you might think why should I read of the research paper? What are the benefit of reading research paper? To that let me tell you uh, that a part of the completing your the assignment and write your this the major benefit of research paper included it improve your knowledge and keep your update uh, at least advantage happening in science it's improve your scientific vocabulary it develop deplo of the scientific uh, apart in you good paper uh, have been published after it the regions the review or by the competitive the scientific and the professor hence and the information is the more athletic the previous paper may from the basic of for new research form which you might the learn about the technology and the method others are following you may discuss you for finding and uh, compare them with the previously done research of the others you learn how to scientifically write a paper on your own how to make a figure out the table and the city reference okay so next my teammate will talk more about the searching paper thank you there are thousands and thousands research paper already existing in online journal database and for effective searching two things are crucial first what you are looking for and second where to look for it so first it's talk about what you are looking for you must be very specific while searching for a topic suppose you want to uh, search for a research on sound wave effects plant so rather than just looking at everything about sound or effects about plants narrow down the searching and choose specific keywords which are close to what you actually need you may added another filter such as publication year journal name or the author name this way you will narrow down your searching result to get the more specific paper next come where to look for it i know most of a student and researcher just google it but google returns a lots of data and most of it not authenticated research i always recommend you to read a good paper that are peer reviewed and cited in index journal there are a few uh, search engine that are can use to search the research article like google scholar pubmed science direct e etc okay so let's more briefly about the components of paper now if you have never seen a research paper before try downloading it and have a look at it once when you look at the research paper following components may be seen first the journal name in which if is published next 
come the publication date next is the title usually a line or two that lines what the paper is all about then comes the list of author all the researcher who have uh, contributed to the current research paper are listed here affiliation tells where the author belongs during the research abstract or summary provide a brief overview of a complete paper including motive and key research outcome the next come introduction here you will find the background information about the research previously done in the area of knowledge gap or existing challenges which lead to the current research at the last paragraph of introduction a glimpse of what the current paper is all about the next section is mechanic and method section uh, which tell uh, you all the actual uh, actual examples when uh, when do what the materials and samples chemicals and software are used what the method or technique were follow uh, followed uh, next in the results section mm, uh, in this section you will see the detailed result of the experiment that were conclude uh, Real, uh, related figure and tables are also include under the description the result of the study are compared with the previously relate work how and why such uh, result are obtained what the result significant etc are described under the description conclusion where the outcomes of the research is briefly summarized in few sentence the next uh, section is reference all the paper referred by the reference article research article uh, what there is the mentioned in the introduction method or the description in the citation and detail of those paper are provided in the reference sections acknowledgements mm, here uh, here funding agency and people are acknowledged for their conti, uh, contribution in providing uh, faculties fun materials or many such help author their contribution uh, this part tells who has done what this research paper all right so to talk about more how to read more effectively i would like to uh, involve my next team member thank you mezabin so now that you know about searching and components of research paper how do you download them and next you want to read it never start reading a complete research paper at first it will take a lot of time and many of you don't have that time or patience you may find you have wasted a lot of time reading a research paper that was not useful to you at all the best way to read a research paper is to follow the following sequence check the titles first just by looking at the title you get a broad idea if you the paper is useful to you or not
नेक्स्ट रीड द एबस्ट्रक्ट समरी एंड कंक्लूशन ऑफ द पेपर दिस सेक्शन गिव्स द ओवरव्यू अबाउट द होल पेपर दैट दे डिड एंड व्हाट वर द मेजर फाइंडिंग इट वुड हार्डली टेक अराउंड फाइव मिनट टू गो दो दिस सेक्शन If you find something interesting in the abstract summary or the conclusion of the paper the start reading the introduction it will develop your background about the topic and what the previous relevant research are that have been done while reading the introduction you will note that every previous study the paper is referenced to has been given citation for it this can be very helpful for you you can find more relevant paper if you want to learn more about this topic by going those reference next read the result and the discussion section check the figures and tables to understand the reason better this way you can reduce the number of papers you actually read so that you can have a deeper and more sincere look at the whole paper next you can check what are the materials and the methods they follow for their experiment with that said i would like to thank you here are the tips for writing a research paper If you find it difficult reading a paper, slow down. While reading or text a printout, use pencil or highlighter to mark the important points. Note down that key points on a piece of paper. Find a quiet place at an appropriate time that suits you to read and keep patience. At first, you may need to read one paper multiple times. but after reading a few papers your speed and efficiency will improve if you still find it difficult to understand a particular portion you can definitely seek the help of your seniors professors or your course teacher or any scientist for example how did we re- re- wrote our research paper writing a good research paper can be difficult for the beginners There are some methods to write a perfect research paper. We have done a research paper a group of four students. We took guidance from our course teacher on how to write a proper research paper. After we got our instruction, we discussed about it. Firstly, we had to choose a topic in which we are going to research. Then we used Google Scholar for related journals what we are going to research. We divided 16 journals or 16 papers for four students and each student got to do four papers. We researched each paper very carefully, noted our every impor- important points and gave it a perfect structure for a main body. After we researched our papers, we had created our own paper from that. Next, we combined our four papers into one and edited the content for it thank you